There was no shooter when a North Texas sheriff's deputy was shot in the foot on Monday night. Today, the sheriff of Parker County says the deputy's backup weapon malfunctioned. Marianne Martinez learning some new information about how this all unfolded and what comes next with this. Marianne. Doug, after the shooting at this ranch here on Monday night, the Parker County Sheriff's Office launched a manhunt looking for this poacher who was believed to be the shooter at the time. Today we got a different story, but not many details. The only information we got came in a press release as the Sheriff's Office refused to do an interview with us. The deputy's body camera captured the moment his gun went off. Monday, the deputy was at a ranch in Parker County just outside Fort Worth looking for a poacher. The man had been seen carrying a rifle and dressed in all black on Sunday and again on Monday. He'd set up an elaborate deer blind seen here, complete with a fenced corn feed. The shooting happened over in this area behind me. A source with knowledge of the shooting tells us that the deputy's gun was holstered to his ankle and that he was not touching it in any way, shape or form when it went off. After the shooting on Monday, the sheriff told the media that the shooter had been in a tree and shot down at the deputy. The sheriff described the shooter as a man dressed in black wearing a hoodie. Deputies and game wardens crisscrossed the area around the ranch looking for him. A $10,000 reward was offered for his capture. But today, a different story. The sheriff released a statement saying, quote, the incident was not an accidental discharge. It was a weapons malfunction from a concealed backup weapon, which was secured and holstered on his person. The sheriff's deputy refused to explain why the story changed, where the poacher is, or even what kind of gun the deputy had on him. The deputy's body camera showed him tying a tourniquet around his leg just after the shooting. Doug, tonight we know that that gun is on its way to the Texas Department of Public Safety who will test that weapon for ballistics and also that deputy. He's out of the hospital tonight. He has been with the department for two years. Reporting live from Parker County, Marianne Martinez, CBS 11 News.